Who am I? Well, I'm a human. That's the start. Um, I see myself as a global citizen, so I have places that I'm from, local to, like Oklahoma and now Appledorn. Um, but basically human, and um, I hope to also be about love and compassion and joy. And that's always in all things, but also then in work, I help other people connect to their joy and um, make their passion a life that they can live from. So mentoring and coaching business owners. Being a woman is um, amazing. It's wonderful to be a woman, especially at this time in the world, especially in the Western world where we have equal rights. We don't have equal pay yet. That's something that has to change. But I feel we all women have to help each other worldwide to stop abuse and to get equal rights for women worldwide and then equal pay as well. So we're, you know, we're all human and we're half of the world. So we need to support each other and make that happen. But I'm in a privileged, in a privileged place now to be able to express myself in all ways I want. So it's, a, it's good to be a woman right now. Femininity, I think for me, is just being able to express yourself in the way you feel at that moment. So that changes. Sometimes you want to be more tough, sometimes you want to be more elegant, but it's just about being who you are as a woman. And that, I think that differs for everybody. But for me, I mean, my taste has evolved over time and my perspectives have evolved over time. And yeah, I see myself as a, as a human first and then as a woman, is part of that. So being feminine is just being myself and the word feminine and then there's the word feminist. I'm definitely a feminist and all that that means because it all only means to be equal to all other humans. So um, I would say my superpower around that would be my enthusiasm for life and for what I do and for supporting the people I work with. And just um, seeing the vision for what people can do and what they can accomplish and helping facilitate that to make that happen. And another part of that superpower is persistence, which is underlying maybe, and you don't see it so much, but I'm a very persistent person. So that also helps me in continuing to be enthusiastic, but also in uh, motivating people and helping them reach their goals. Well, I, I do think it's very important to be grateful. Um, if you can't be um, negative and be grateful at the same time. So if you're ever having a tough time, it's good to get into a space of gratitude. That's always a good start. Um, I think you have to just, you know, do things to get rid of the fear. Um, I'm a big fan of The Four Agreements by Miguel Ruiz. It's a book. So stop making assumptions. Stop taking things personally, ladies, please. And stop worrying about what people think about you and just stand up for what you believe in and speak out for what you stand for and express yourself. But just stop being so afraid. Stop caring what people think. You know, count on your own opinion you have this one precious life and it's really short and you know, who cares? Why not? You have nothing to lose. And if it doesn't work out, you choose something else. So be willing, be brave, be courageous, step up, step out and enjoy this life that you've been given. Well, I, I do believe, I mentioned the book, The Four Agreements by Miguel Ruiz. If I recommended like a three pack of books that the Holy Trinity, and I'm not religious, but the Holy Trinity of books for personal development, it would be that book, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle and uh, Loving What Is by Byron Katie. So uh, my personal mantra is definitely, it's not just one phrase or word or quote, but in general, it's to be grateful for what you have and to 
if you're stressed or unhappy to investigate those thoughts and then to try to live in the present moment because that's all there is. And if you follow those steps, then everything, you'll be clear enough to move forward with anything else you want to do. Right, well, the best way to find me is to go to my website, fireflycoaching.com. And if you are a business owner and you're looking to get more clients, definitely grab a copy of my free special report, Seven Steps to Attract More Clients in Less Time. And check out my blog. I've got tons of articles. You can search it there by topic. And if you have questions, get in touch. All my contact information is on my website. Thank you. Thanks. It's fun. Okay. <laughs>